Good morning and welcome to Steam at Home. This is Ms. Caitlin from Haymarket Gainesville Community Library and I'm here to do some salt painting with you today. So we're going to need some watercolor paints. If you don't have watercolor, you can mix food coloring in with water. We're also going to need some cardstock paper because we need a little bit more of a hardier paper than your standard um, construction paper or printer paper. We're going to need some white Elmer's glue. We're going to need some salt and your brush. So with that being said, we're going to do our first step, which is um, pretty easy. You can do this with stencils or you can draw it freehand, but generally what we're going to do is we're going to start with our shapes and glue. So I'm not going to draw the shapes on the paper and pencil because I'm not very good at drawing. So I'm just going to go ahead and make my salt painting shapes with my glue. So I'm going to make a shape in here. Let's do, let's do a star. Okay. So start right there. So now that we have our shapes, we are going to sprinkle the salt on top. Don't worry about using too much salt because we're going to let this dry and then all that extra salt is going to come off. So we're going to go ahead and put salt. So then we're going to let that sit and dry and we'll be back. Okay, and we're back. So now that everything is dry and I've shaken off the extra salt, you see it's a little messy, but that's okay. So now we're going to take our watercolor paint or your water and um, food coloring mixture and we're just going to you can use a pipette or something um, to add it you just a little tap tap and you'll see that it spreads out and you'll see the color just explodes all over the page And you can even mix colors too if you want. I think that's pretty cool.